challenge did not bring um, a health and economic challenge for every country around the world. But as the, as the pandemic defeats in Sierra Leone, price hikes are crunching Sierra Leoneans. A lot of them, um, considering the poverty rates across the country, it's it's difficult for a lot of families. Now, from things like cement, we don't go up from 75,000 to as high as 110 to 120 in the last eight months, or to a bag of rice where you know they get less than 250,000 leons, which is half of the minimum wage, in, almost half of the minimum wage in Sierra Leone. And despite denials as well, loaf of bread in some places now still 2,000 leons. But can all of this just be blamed on COVID, or are there policy issues as well where they contribute to the hike in prices? And most importantly, what in government they do about them. This morning they talk about price hikes in Sierra Leone um, and this, the, the things that we surround that actually. So this morning in the studio with me, I get Mikhail Turina, the Director of Domestic Commerce and Industry, and Minister of Trade, and Abubakar Tarawali, a policy analyst for Budget Advocacy Network. So let me start with you. Good morning, Mr. Turi. Good morning, my brother. Okay. And um, good morning to you, Bakara. Yeah, morning, sir. All right, so um, don't forget so you can drop away a message on 079-994-993 or just go on our Facebook page because we are live at Epic Radio 99.3 FM. Just drop away a message as we continue this discussion this morning. So let me start with you, Mr. Ture. We only see the price of Boku Boku tin and they go up now the market, whether it's cement, it's flour, or whether it's sugar, or even rest where we all consume every single day so una the minister of trade waiting exactly na the cause of that um good morning again my brother and uh, thank you very much uh for extending invitation to the minister of trade and industry at least for me we go try for the tell we fumble them waiting the go on na the country um, you outrightly say that prices of uh, essential commodities, they go up and up and up. Yes, um, that is no uh, hidden things. That's the hard fact on the ground. Prices of essential commodities, they go up, particularly the imported uh, commodities, like you have mentioned, rice, sugar, flour, and onions, and the like. But let everybody try for understand probably the reason why. You know, as well-meaning Sierra Leoneans, and also behind the decks of responsible offices, we not go one for the seed and thing there so they happen. But when it happened in such a way that it is beyond your own control, I think you only need for container. So now I come to the point. The prices of the essential commodities, they go up right now. And it therefore continue to go up even because of the negative impact of the pandemic all over the world the COVID-19. Who say we products then they, they come out? For example, China. We get a large quantity of commodities where they come out China. Huge rice, we they get them from China. Sugar, we they get them from China. A lot of other things, we they get them from China. You find out, say, the COVID, now they it begin, it hit them seriously. As a result, then people then they wait then they produce. They know they go now them factories for go produce. You come down to India, where would they also get a huge importation from? You can hear you then can say Indian rice. That means large quantity of rice they come on India. Again, they are seriously being heated by the COVID. As a result, production not they go on. And even if it go on, then they only manage for contain and for do some production so that they serve for sustain themselves. And see, a go lot of them to an extent, go even to the extent of putting laws 
barriers. We no one no shipment from our country. No shipment. As a result, we know if you want empty container then for Kantoi. Because if empty container can, you think of taking a load from India or China for Karango and other country. So, those are production factors where it hit them seriously. But then, even the one them, where they get the stock, where they go one for supply we, where we business people go able to buy from them, mm. for let them bring and can Sierra Leone, you can't find out, say, China can't put a law, say, we don't want no empty container. We do, we no favor exportation any longer. We population is so huge that we till we get we save one for keep and for sustain them for keep we. So shortage of container, it can become a serious problem for the business people that where they where they where they import into Sierra Leone. Because where you get the empty container, you go able to bring the load come. So knowing all of them problem, I believe talk about containment. Waiting on what they do for manage the situation as you say earlier on. Um, waiting the minister of trade, of course, say not just the minister of trade as a government. Waiting we don't they do for let we contain some of the thing there. One, government go to the extent say. Some their essential commodities they are, would they reduce, would they remove duty from them? Rice is zero rated because now we're essential commodity. In fact, some of we can even take and say, then say now a political commodity. Where the people then go short of that one day, a government get problem. So government get put zero tax on that one day. But still, the factors then continue for compound. One of them factors then they now the freight rate. Freight from a container from China to Yard before COVID now been two thousand five hundred dollars. In the midst of COVID now, now seven thousand five hundred dollars for one container. When you come to the freight rate of uh, cement from Tokyo uh, two weeks ago, now forty six dollars. Per metric tons. One week ago, it got to seventy dollar per metric tons. As of yesterday, now one hundred and fifty dollars per metric tons. So you go even imagine, say, even the cement we go there on the way we call and transit. It there on the way they come. Expected stock there on the way they come. Would they expect say by the time they reach here, it go even get more price than what you would expect presently. So what the government they do? What the Ministry of Trade now they facilitate that one day? Where the government say let we pull taxes and rise? Then go further. Government go further. This thing just the add per we. When Allah will remove the GST. And so government remove GST. But despite that, prices are still going up. Yes. Now this are the time for tell you, my brother. Like I tell you, I say two weeks ago, um, freight pan cement now forty six dollar. A week ago now seventy dollar. As of yesterday now one hundred and fifty dollars. And the business person they go buy this thing. The freight don't add pan them. Um, other factors then don't add on them. Um, uh, all of them factors then they now cost implication factors then. We, you, yeah. Okay. We can't talk much about them cost then. They, um, Bakar, we know say on our organization ban in recent times when I be even call for let the government try for let ensure that salon be taken from high risk country list. Mm -hmm. So every time there is a shipment coming in, the cost of insurance go be lower, and so that go even affect perhaps freight prices. Do you think then things are also connected to the current hike in prices? Of course, they are connected. Um, when you talk about a high risk country, a country that we, as a result of the rebel war effects, we be done, we be done in another list day. And even when you look at the, the human development index, only the 80 out of 187 countries alone. So we still there as a, a poverty stricken country. And at the same time, that label of a high risk country, you know, therefore help at all because um, it costs the shipping 
the, 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 the one the way they bring goods and come in a salon, a lot of money, for example, in the high insurance costs. Okay? And the freight, like I just mentioned, is they high. And the, the businessman aim now for make plenty profits. So what you go buy plus what you pay in the form of taxes or costs, we go make the good rich. It is a factor I'm where it can put the final price. When I mean you two, they suffer. Because now we they go buy at a very high cost. So the question of affordability don't arise now. Because not to say the good not they, but you go able to afford for get them. And if they bring up a, a pure economic burden on people, then we get a static salary. Because what you be they get, for example, you they earn four million euros a month. What do you they get now? It they come in less because you they spend more for for cater for your family. This na economic pressure and uh, like in, rightly mentioned, say COVID the impact is great. We believe say one of the solution. The Minister of Foreign Affairs for lead a clarion call for the first of all they remove salon from the high risk countries. Second, salon not get a ship. Let this ship here a day to salon name. Because if you, you get a local ship in the name of Sierra Leone where they go bring goods and come, then anybody help for reduce the cost. Mm -hmm. So we also equally call on the Sierra Leone National Shipping Agency for continue for look for ship them where they operate under salon name. That's the second thing. And uh, we they also continue for call on government for maintain the zero GST and zero import duty. Because that's the only way where the businessman himself go get small alafia and then go consider the price. Remember, say salon they operate a free market economy. So we not the government not get any power for determining the price of commodities. We know to then they go buy. The businessman they comply, they pay in taxes. At the end of the day, you forget a free environment for letting them maximize profits. So <coughs> these are the compounding problems and we don't exist. In that free market economy where you talk about, how you feel to say um, government will strike the balance in a way? Well, government is strike a balance through table talk negotiation. Then you sit with importers, dialogue with them. Same way, so the means of foreign affairs go they go on and negotiate as um, as far as the matter concerned for remove salon from that high risk country. Mm. Remember, I say after the war, we don't conduct several elections. Then we one government transfer power to another government, another government. We don't get several transitions, and we not get any semblance for go back into any war. So that means a salon a peaceful country now. We will not fit again to that particular um, tag for say salon a high risk country. Mm. So this way, it will be able for bring a solution. But if you just allow information gap for exist in the society, what do you do? You allow room for room or mongering, and this they bring on rest in the country. I want you know say Liberia. When our neighbor in country, we don't get food riot in the seventies. You understand? So again, salon we currency a week because for the past years we're not able for export rather than with the import more so that they mean say you get for put more of the loans for match up the strong currency where you get for use for go buy so if the country cable maximize and production for example they ship them the way they go sell or fish them so then they sell them at a very co high cost but salon will get control because they ship them they, they register on the way and then now, now, now private entities, you understand? So at least we for try for gradually try for take back things and control. Now I make at some point in time where the government talk about the local content policy, we we support them because then then the only way we salon will take charge of in business. If even a ship and a fish no more with the ship at the annual you know uh, capacity we then to allow the arena then Chinese then. And Japanese, they can't fish in our water, go sell them in Spain for a very high cost. It is the real way of much needed revenue. Always they can contribute a tax. Mm. 